Hello everyone! Today we're going to talk about fonts and how to make your own lettering and come up with some really interesting fonts for whatever you would like to use it for. Cards, signs, just writing in general, however you'd like to use this. So the first thing I started with is just a plain piece of paper and wrote my alphabet on it. So I have the uh, uppercase on this one and lowercase on this one. We're going to start by using a Sharpie. So this is done in pencil very lightly and you're going to need an eraser after. I'm going to start with the A and let's just kind of figure out what kind of font, what, how we want this to look. Okay, so I'm going to start with a little curl. I kind of like these little curls and I'm going to go off of it and I'll go next to the lines that I drew, but I don't have to stay on them. And maybe I'll kind of cross over this one and come down. So this is just like a fancy little curl. You're just following the actual A that's on there. Now, once I have something that I like, I like this kind of curly thing. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to thicken up some lines and taper the lines. So where I have a space in between, so this is going to be the edge is what I'm saying, like the tip of the letter. I want that to taper to a thinner line. So I don't really want to go over that too much. And then I'm going to taper this, which means it's going to go from thick. I'll thicken up some areas and then just go back to the original line. So you really, really need to taper, taper, taper. This is just going to help your letter to stand out a lot more on its own. So however you want to do this, you're just kind of thinking about like how you can go like that. So this is my thick part right here. And I'm going to fill that in. And it's going to basically just go to that line. And end up meeting that line. So here, I'm going to do the same thing, and I want a little thicker in here, and let's just go like this. Okay, that's just a very simple one, and then when you're done, you're just going to take your eraser and erase off that pencil underneath. One thing when you're lettering, you want to make sure if you're spelling words that you have the same size font as you go through. You don't want like a big and then a small, unless that's the type of style that you're doing. Okay, um, now let's go down. I'm gonna skip down to my J here, just for the fun of it. Okay, so this is a very simple letter and I gotta think about what can I do? I wanna have, like maybe I wanna just kinda have it hook around a little bit. Uh, let's have something fancy. I'm going to do something fancy for the top of this. Maybe how about let's go something like this. I kind of think about art styles and things to influence me when creating a lettering style. This almost looks like a Joan Miro type of line that might have been on one of his paintings. And so maybe I'll do another little line like this. So again, we're going to start to thicken up some lines. I'm going to do a little here and let's do this one a little different. So I'm going to thicken this one up here. So you're trying to make up these different types of fonts. Maybe a little ball right there and let's do a ball there. And extra lines are always pretty cool around when you're trying to make something stand out, make something a little more artistic. Okay. And you know, I could put another, let's see how this looks with another little extra. That's kind of neat. And you still have to know that it's a J, so you can't go too far from what you have there, although you can get really fancy on things that are around it and still keeping the, the look of the letter. Okay. Let's try the M. Okay. So I'm going to start with way outside of this and I'm going to kind of think of like how I can sort of swirl things up and I, I don't want to press too hard. 
okay and I'm following think about how you can kind of like do a swirl and then go through it again all right now I can start here or I can start over here so uh, let's try this let's try this and I'm gonna go with really large Okay, so this is a really fancy, fancy letter. Now I have to make sure that I can see the M clearly. So I really want to go in and find where I can accent those lines and make them nice and dark and taper them. So I want the M to really stand out. These swirls can be a little more, um, I want them to be a little more thin. You know, not as, not as prominent as the actual M. And let's see, let's do, let's give that some thickness there. You can actually keep that. You can keep it looking like that or you can fill. So once you start practicing a lot, you're going to find all these different ways to do things. You know, the swirls, the lines, the dots. Any kind of other uh, way to get this kind of to stand out. All right, I'm liking that M. I'm liking that M. Maybe a little more here. accentuate it a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's a pretty cool M. So now I can kind of just go around and do all my other letters. I can keep in the same font. Um, or, I, you know, so it picks something that you have. I started a few of them on this page just to kind of show a couple different types. And if you wanted to do any sort of bubble letter, bubble letters are very easy with this method. So think of like where you'd start and go around your letter. And this is just bubble. You can kind of go around like that. And there's your, your F and your G. Tuck right behind. And think about like how you gotta go around. Come around. Just like that in there. So bubble letters actually are pretty easy when you're using the letter already drawn out. But you just trace around and then you can erase, whoops, and then you can erase in the inside. Okay? And then any kind of, like if you want this to be like this thick, kind of puffy letter, you might want like a little shine to kind of, like sort of in the center of your letter like this. Okay, maybe something over here, like these are more in the center. It's kind of like a balloon. You think about, about how they have the shine. Okay, and then I just take my eraser and I just erase off. So I hope you enjoyed making some of these fonts with me today. When you get the hang of this, you're going to have some really nice things. And you can just make any kind of thing that you want. Thanks for watching. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.